All right, guys, so we're taking the Varla Pixis uh, out for a range test today. Not sure how far I'm going to be going today. I'm going to just kind of see. I don't have too much time, so uh, I'll see how I can go. Maybe in about an hour or so. Maybe it'll get me half of the range. But um, I have ridden this a little bit already. I've charged it up all the way. And you can see I've got full bars here. But if you look at the... Uh, voltage setting here. It's 53.2 volts. When it was fully charged, it was like 54.7, and I've maybe ridden it about a quarter of a mile, just uh, doing some additional testing. I'm gonna go quite a bit further today. I'm gonna put the trip meter on here, yeah, right there, and then we'll see how far I can get today. Obviously. 28 miles is the advertised range on this, but um, I'm going to be in uh, dual motor mode, power level 2, so I expect it to be somewhat less. I'm going to see how far I can go, and then we'll, you know, I'll stop along the way here and there and give you some updates. Okay, so it's a few days later. I'm up to 18 miles on the odometer. The battery's at full voltage, or full bars, but let's see here. Uh, 49.3 volts. So I think that's about what it was before. Okay, so let's head out here. I'm gonna go about to another park from here, uh, about five miles away, and then come back. So we'll add another 10 miles and we'll see what the voltage in the battery uh, bar does. All right, so I've made it to the park, and at rest, if the voltage comes back up to about 46.9, but when I'm, uh, I was going uphill, which was about a 300 foot elevation gain uh, to this, this point, it went down to about 45.8 volts, and it's showing five bars of energy here, but it went down to about three, so it does, it does recover when, it, then, when you were at rest. So that was a total trip of 5.1 miles, and I did make a little bit of a detour as I missed an exit, so it was a little bit longer than expected. Uh, but the way back is going to be downhill, so hopefully I uh, won't be using as much battery. And then you can see the battery bar is now going, gaining up to 6 now. Seems the uh, voltage recovers a little bit when you're sitting around just resting, so... Go ahead and head back and see what the numbers are like uh, when we get back at the park. Alright, not sure what's going on here. I'm at 7.3 miles and the throttle's not working anymore. But I have plenty of voltage and batteries, so I'm not sure what's up. I'm gonna have to turn the scooter on and off. I'm gonna lose my mileage. 
I'll have to add that at the end, but uh, hopefully that'll reset things. Okay, so turning the scooter on, I've uh, fixed that problem. It's reset now, but now my trip odometer has been reset. So I'm continuing on from 7.3 miles. All right, so finished the ride and uh, an additional 1.2 miles. So it's a total of 8.5 miles on this segment. Down to uh, four bars of energy, 46.3 volts. So it didn't use as nearly as much battery on the way down and not that much uh, voltage tag because it was a, about a 300 foot descent. So yeah, definitely going downhill. Uh, doesn't use nearly as much battery, so probably going to do one more test on more like a level surface, uh, probably like a beach trail or something like that, and see how far I can go down. I, I know that the, you can take the battery down to 40 volts and that's, that's, that's the shutoff point, but uh, when you are on full throttle, it's um, down in the, like, at least on the downhill segment, it's down around 45.3 volts, about half, about a volt lower. So it looks like I got a lot more miles left on this battery, so I'm going to do one more test in a little bit. Alright, so we're on day three of this range test, down to half the bars, but this is um, obviously without it moving. It's going to, there's going to be some voltage sag or drop. It's going to drop here as soon as I start going. Now this does have a 40 volt uh, voltage cutoff, so the once this voltage hits 40 volts, it'll just turn off. And I don't want to damage the battery, so I'm gonna stop at like around 41 volts. Also, when I'm uh, actually riding this and at full throttle, it will drop to about 43, I think 43, 44 volts. So I'm not sure how much range I've left. I've already, since the battery was full, it's been about 17 and a half, almost 18 miles. And it is expected to go 28 miles on, you know, uh, at least uh, advertised. Now it might depend on obviously riding conditions. I might be able to get more or less. It just really depends. I'm not really going too fast. I'm kind of just casually riding this. I'm going around 10 to 15 miles an hour on average. So. I think I should get pretty close to the 28. I'm hoping to get somewhere around 24-ish. We'll see. Okay, so my battery has died. I'm getting an error code six. One bar of energy left, but uh, yeah, I think I miscalculated. I should have been targeting 42 volts, not 41 volts, because after about 43 volts, it really dropped quickly. And uh, now I'm about half a mile short of uh, where I started, so. I'm going to be walking this thing back for the next half mile, so a total of uh, additional six miles on this last leg. So we're talking 23 and a half miles total on this full charge, maybe 24 miles based on the GPS readings. So yeah, it's um, I think that's about what I, I was expecting, but I think I may have spent a little bit too, time, too long in that uh, park at the uh, turnaround point. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'll have a full uh, review of the scooter 
uh, in a, a few weeks. So stay tuned for that.